I would like to welcome you to the very first episode of the Tilted Crown Gourmet. This video channel is going to be about home cooks, um, for home cooks, and for people who enjoy entertaining and trying new dishes from around the world. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Feel free to leave comments. Constructive criticism is always accepted because we want to grow this channel and we would like to make the quality of the videos better and better as time goes forward. So again, welcome to the very first episode of the Tilted Crown Gourmet. Today we're gonna make pan seared Chilean sea bass Mediterranean style. First off, let's start with some prep. I have one pound of baby potatoes. I have a mix of red and Yukon gold. You slice them in half. In hindsight, these baby potatoes were a slightly larger than I really would have liked, so they should have been quartered. Next, you're going to peel and dice one shallot. I then ran three cloves of garlic through my garlic press. Make sure that you use a knife to uh, cut off your garlic so that you get all of the garlic into your dish. Generally next, you would use 10 Kalamata olives sliced in half and 10 Frescatrano olives also sliced in half. I'm not a huge olive fan, therefore I substituted a quarter cup of capers. I then julienned two roasted red bell peppers. Next, I slice my tomatoes in half. Again, these were slightly larger because these were plum tomatoes. You really should use cherry tomatoes, but being a cook, you need to utilize what you have available to you. So I use 12 plum tomatoes cut in half. Again, in the future, they should have been quartered. Um, however, if you use cherry tomatoes, I would recommend 15 to 20 cut in half. I then got four fresh basil leaves. I did a chaffinade and then I turned them 90 degrees and did it again, which basically created a dice. Now that your prep work is done, let's start to cook. Add three tablespoons of olive oil over a high heat. Once it begins to lightly smoke, go ahead and put in your baby potatoes and cook them for approximately four minutes, stirring occasionally. Next, you're gonna add your shallot and cook it for about one minute. Following, you're gonna add the garlic, the capers, the roasted red peppers, the tomatoes, and you're gonna saute those for two more minutes. Then you're gonna deglaze the pan with a half to three quarters cup of white wine. I happen to have a Pinot Grigio available, so that's what I used. I would recommend that you never cook with a wine that you're not willing to drink. Cook for approximately two more minutes, season with salt and pepper, then you're gonna fold in your fresh basil and set it aside. If you left your potatoes a little large or your tomatoes a little large, you can put this on a back burner on a high simmer and let it continue to cook while you prepare your sea bass. I then pat my sea bass down with paper towels to make sure that they're very dry. I season both sides with salt and pepper. Note, these are sea bass steaks, therefore the skin is on the side. Normally you use a sea bass fillet where you have one side with the skin and the other side does not. Sometimes you have to use what you have. I had sea bass steaks, therefore that's what I use for this dish. Add two to three tablespoons of a neutral flavored oil to a large frying pan and set the heat to high until you start seeing a light smoke. Place the sea bass and then immediately turn the heat down to medium to medium high. You're then gonna add two teaspoons of unsalted butter and you're gonna cook them for approximately six minutes per side until they're golden brown and cooked through. After about 
two minutes of cooking, you can move them around the pan a little bit because you want to ensure a uniform brownness. To plate this dish, you take your Mediterranean caper potato mixture, put it in the bottom of a shallow bowl, and then simply top it with your filet of sea bass. Bon appetit.